Yeah. Life, death, repent before you die. If you look right through my eye, you will see how I survive. Say God want you alive. And when Jesus arrives, you put lights in more lives. Cause Jesus is the light. People always asking, how you fighting all these demons? You gotta know one thing. Jesus is the light. And worry about these demons. I just need to stand still. And Jesus Christ will fight. Cause Jesus is the light. I'm walking through the valley of shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For Jesus Christ is winning. We should thank you, Jesus. Because you died. Okay, guys, we're gonna talk about Kyle Williams. Kyle Williams talking about the Illuminati. He's thought about the Illuminati. If there's somebody out there that's in a better position to talk about the Illuminati, it's this guy. This guy. Dude's raw. He's raw. Like. He's that guy. Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to subscribe. Do not just watch the video. Subscribe. Subscribe. And stay tuned. More videos on the way. Cat Williams. Black Tree. Take one up one. <laughs> Shout out to Black Tree for this video, guys. All right. There was a recent controversy online. I know you don't spend all your time online about uh, Kevin Hart mm -hmm. uh, wearing a dress in the SNL skit. And Dave Chappelle spoke about that as a comedian. Black actors are always, you know, being asked to wear dresses. Have you ran into that? And what? What, Kevin Hart? Kevin Hart, before, he said before that he, he wouldn't wear a dress. Like he, he, you have to get, you have to have principles type thing, right? You say you have to have, you have to have principles, standards, something like that. Dave Chappelle, another great comedian, said that you know in the industry they tried to make him wear a dress. Have you ever ran into that with with scripts and <laughs> and is that something that you know you wouldn't do, you know, for? for uh, I definitely haven't ran into to put on the dress. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, you you have to have. You have to have boundaries. You have to have limits that you refuse to cross. Uh, you know, for me, I know what they are. Uh, they've yet to been challenged, so you know, I don't have to speak on them. I was asked to dribble a basketball on the talk show this morning. Like, you look said good no to that. It, <laughs> <laughs> Not that that was a dress, but I was like, no, I'm gonna look stupid. You know, at the end of the day, you gotta know that you're a brand. Yeah. I'm a brand. Uh, you need to protect your brand at all times. When things happen that can possibly affect your brand, your your brand can be diminished, and and you don't you don't want that to happen. So you know, protecting my brand is is definitely a priority. But then fast forward, he, he, he wore a dress. See, that's what I'm saying. When that when that money kicks in, bro, people are willing to do things that they say they wouldn't do. When in the, when you say you're not gonna do something, you never you got principles and blah 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 blah, and then somebody comes out there and slap hundred mils on your face like I want you to wear the dress and you don't want you to play this scene in this movie, and then you're like, that's corruption right there. You corrupt yourself, corruption, corrupt your morals. You go against your own principles. You don't stand on the things that you say. You stand on. What do you think about that whole Illuminati theory that people put out there about that? Well, you... <laughs> see, I looked at him and laughed. Yep, right when I looked at him and laughed. Thanks for that softball question. Uh, it, it's two answers. First of all, let's be very, very clear. It is possible that there isn't anything funnier than a guy in a dress. And if that's the case, then it might also be said that there's nothing funnier than a black guy in a dress. Okay, well, I watched all of my friends throughout my entire life be able to dunk a basketball, but not me. So everybody can't do everything. So, you know, some of us make choices. I think it's not a biggest choice um, for others. I'm saying um, at the end of the day, Kevin doesn't have to worry about what people are going to say about him wearing a dress because of the long line of dress wearing people before him. So now <laughs> we have Big Mama's house one, two, and three. Yeah. I've never seen Medea in a pantsuit. I think she wears dresses. So now I'm saying, why are we picking on poor little Kevin Hart? 
because it was his turn next. Okay. Okay. Some of us are against the Illuminati. We are against the Illuminati at our own detriment. Mm. When people are against the Illuminati, then they get punched in the face all the time. The press hates them. And nobody likes them. Wondering why that is. Or what? They control everything. They control the media. They control the TVs. They control the school. They control everything. 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 End quote. Um, we all love Dave Chappelle. Exactly. Dave Chappelle has never been a part of the Illuminati. They don't want him or me or people like us. Yeah. Um, but now it's not uh, necessary for us to store up that hornet's nest unless we intend to get stoned a million times. I didn't understand that. They had to sting me a million times. Yeah. I'm still not going to join, but I respect it a little more. Alright, how, how do you handle that? Because they put your name in the press with a lot of rumors and a lot of situations that they try to put on mm -hmm. Cat Williams. Do you feel ever the need to like, I gotta go defend this and, and put out a story about <laughs> who I am? Or do you just let that kind of like roll off your back? When well, as you can see, I've let it all go for quite uh, some time. And a lot of that is just based upon the fact that I don't really know how to complain because all of the people that I ever looked up to had to go through it too. So I know how much they talked about Martin Luther King and I know what they end up doing to him. I know this same story about Jesus and a few of my uncles. So now I know that if your mouth is really, really big and you try to tell the truth for a living and you like to air people out, hatred is coming your way. Yeah. I didn't know it was going to be this type of that's exactly what I'm doing. Even though I do, I, I talk, I say stuff online on on YouTube and stuff like that. Even though I, you know, I I said as I, I talk, I talk about you know people on you know celebrities, Hollywood. On this YouTube channel, I know the haters would come and trying to do something. But guess what? I'll tell you what God said. Do not be scared of a man that can kill the body and cannot kill the soul. Be scared of he that can kill both the soul and the body. Fear not, for I am with you. That's what he said. Type of hatred, but you know, I'm concrete in all things uh, because of he who strengthens me. So that doesn't mean I always make the right decisions, but I am going to stand by what I stand for. And um, I'm only continuing to do it because I was looking for somebody who was doing it instead of me. And I just must have missed them. You know what I mean? So yeah. at some point you have to figure out what example are you trying to be? If it's just going to be you going to make it and live happily ever after and go off into the sunset, then that's what that is. Otherwise, you're on the front line of this battle. And those of us who understand that, um, understand that this is a part of what comes with it. All right, last question. Scary Movie yeah. 5, April 12th. Everybody's going to go see that. Including me. Where, what else does Cat Williams have come out? We're going to see you on stage, do stand-up. What's, what's up next with Cat Williams? Well, you know, the best thing for me is when I'm able to do the uh, movies and then, uh, you know, if I do four, mo four months of doing movies, then I'm able to go to stand up and that's a nice healthy pace for me. So um, right now, as long as Scary Movie 5 goes to number one, then that'll be our green light that we can do the movies. And uh, if that's what the people want, then that's what I'll do. And if not, then uh, we always um, have that stage. There you have it, people. There you have it. There you have it. People wearing a dress, the Illuminati, this and that, Hollywood. You know, is it really worth it, though? Is it really worth it? Like, going to, like, Hollywood and be part of the, the, the demons group, the demons society. That's how I call it. That's how I call it. I call it the demons society. 
You know, like, many people get lost just by thinking, I'm going to Hollywood. They're going to put me in a movie. They're going to put me in a movie. They're going to put me in a movie. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. The devil doesn't give nothing free, man. The devil doesn't give nothing free. Nothing, nothing, nothing the devil gives you is free. Only God, the Almighty, Jesus Christ, give you free stuff. But the devil doesn't give anything free. If he gives you one, he will going to try and take ten. When he's giving with the right hand, the left hand is coming to take. For all the people out there that want to go to Hollywood, for people out there that want to be artists, musicians, and everything, my advice to you is rethink again. Rethink of what you want to do it. And if you do it, watch how you do it. You don't want to be part of those people that end up missing. I'll be the one that will get people missing. I did not say that. Kanye, what say that? If you haven't watched it, watch it at the end of this video. Catch you guys next time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the link at the top of the comment. Go to Spotify. Stream my songs. Go to iTunes. Stream my song. We out. I ain't taking no slice from nobody. It's God. It's the only person that I serve. My mom ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Yeah. You appreciate it. Michael you. Jordan. What about him? His daddy, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You're out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing.